everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can draw diagrams on the iPad Pro. It's very simple. What you need is an iPad, Apple Pencil and some app where you can take notes. I'm using Notability. Diagrams help me memorize information much faster and they also make notes stand out, which is pretty nice. Okay, so let's begin. Drag a browser to the side and search the diagram you want to draw. Try to find an image that's high quality and think about how much time you want to spend on reproducing that diagram. Once you've found your image, drag it onto your notes, adjust the size until you're happy with it and then draw over it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can add as much detail as you like. You can make it the diagram more simple or complex. It's all up to you. At the end, I add a few labels to some of the parts of the brain. I'm not going to color in this diagram, I will color in the other two diagrams using two different methods. To remove the picture, I click on the scissors, outline the image and cut it from my notes so that I'm just left with my drawing. I adjust the size and place it to, to the part of the page where I want it to be. Let's do another diagram, except this time I'm going to color in the picture. So the same steps apply as before. When I'm finished outlining, I press on the pen and choose a desired color to color in different parts of the brain. Honestly, I prefer using the highlighter because it's just much faster. However, I wanted to show you the effect that can be achieved using a pen. I'm not even sure if that's a pen or a pencil, but let's just stick with pen. I add some final touches. I couldn't do that before because the color of the pen would have covered it. And that's the main difference or one of the main differences between using a pen and using a highlighter. Final diagram, I'm going to use highlighters to color it in. This is for me much simpler and much faster way to color in a picture because the highlighter doesn't cover the black outline you just drew. Again, I label the diagram and remove the picture that I use to replicate. Another advantage of using a highlighter is that you can shade, just like I am right now. Quick tip, if you use continuous line to color something in, the shade of the color stays the same. Once you break the line and go over something again, the shade becomes darker. Most of you probably already know this, but maybe there's someone who will find this tip helpful. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for listening and see you guys in my next video.